Babylon episode 12. Okay, my bad. My voice is. <coughs> Got a little bit of music in my throat. But oh my freaking God. This is why I got into Thriller last year. Because Babylon has the perfect amount of twists and turns and just the characters. Oh my jeez. But listen, episode 12 was one of the best last episodes that I've seen in a long time. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of backstory real quick. If you guys don't don't want spoilers, then don't watch the video or skip a little bit ahead. But basically, this show is about someone named Saizaki, right? And he's a part of this investigative unit. They're called the Special Investigative Unit or whatever. I forgot they were called. It's all the way in episode like three. But basically, they're, they're like special cops. You know, they're, they're really special cops. And he had a partner and that partner killed himself while they were investigating um, a string of, of murders or murders quotation marks and some counterfeit stuff right and they all of them were made to look like suicides just like his partner's death too but Sasaki knew that his partner would never commit suicide number one he was too young and he had big dreams there's no way that he would just kill himself all of a sudden but nobody really believed him they thought it was kind of crazy because clearly he hung himself right now the thing about it is he did commit suicide he did and it's all because of a woman named i magase i magase has a freaking mind control power that basically makes it seem like you're having sex with her and that that sex must be really fucking good i'm talking about she must be doing fucking backflips fucking Beyblade twist on that dick boy I'm talking about boy she must be doing so much because as soon as she says one word to you you freaking kill yourself you die imagine imagine just looking at a female and then she talks to you and you're like oh my god I'm so horny let me go and drown myself in this fucking river that's basically what that emotion made you do now there's another layer to this plot and that's the fact that the place where they lived, I think it was called Shiniki. Now, that place basically invoked a law where it was legal to commit suicide. And there's a, there's this mayor, and there's a lot of other stuff. There's a lot of depth to it. But that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about episode 12. And why episode 12 is one of the best episodes of an anime that I have watched in the longest of times. And simple fact is that everything just fucking went to shit in like five seconds. The president of the United States, right? Yes, it's not Donald Trump in this. Like, it isn't death no one shot. Very disappointed. But basically, he just got finished telling somebody not to commit suicide because he doesn't truly know what good and evil are and what the right decision is, basically. And the woman decided to wait. You know, she was like, as soon as you find the answer, tell me. And he promised to tell her. Literally like two minutes after that, the president found the answer. And what good is, what he said good was, was to continue. And what evil was, was to end. He went, as soon as he went to go tell the woman that, your girl Rize come out of nowhere. President, this man running upstairs talking about some Adam and Eve shit. Like what Adam and Eve, where did this come from? Talk about some some serpent apple shit. He, he's running upstairs sweating like he just got done with his fucking tenth meat beat session. This man running upstairs and goes up to the roof while Sazaki is moving like a damn slug. By the way, right behind, looking for him, moving like a slug, looking at every single body in the hallway and running up to try and get to the president. Now, as soon as he comes face to face with the president, the president tells him everything that he told that woman. And basically what he found the answer was. Like what the answer for good and evil was. Sazaki already knew what he was going to say. He already knew the answer. Before this, the president gave him a gun. Because Sazaki was talking about killing Magase. He said he wants nothing more than to kill Magase. Because she's evil. And the president was questioning that. He was like, you have a son. And you have a son and you have a wife. Prom do you? I'll give you a gun. But promise me that you'll use this gun to make the right decisions. And go back to your family. Now he promised. That promise went to shit by the way. But anyway. He shoots the president. That way he won't kill himself. And he won't be lying to Kanai. About what good and evil were. Because if he were to jump off the building. Then Kanai would have also. Thought that the 
the, the definition of good was to die, was death. So he would have basically been lying. So Sasaki decided to shoot him right in the lung. All of a sudden, Magase, your girl, is right behind Sasaki, and they're talking about what good and evil are. He points a gun to her head, and instead of shooting, he has a conversation with the crazy mind control bitch. And yeah, you you know how well that probably went. Yeah, as soon as she said bang, yeah, bang happened. But it cut the black But We basically know what happened. There was no way he was shooting Magase, especially after talking to her for so long. After this, after the ending, you know, after you were just in shock after what just fucking happened. There's another scene where Sazaki's son is getting off of a bus with a woman. Now, you think this woman is probably his wife or something. Yeah, no, it's fucking Magase. So, yeah, I don't know if this is setting up for a sequel because I'm pretty sure this is the last episode. I mean, seeing how this, everything just went to absolute fucking dog shit. Pretty sure this is probably the last episode of this season. So, I hope there's a season two. I really do because th this would be a nice way to end it, honestly. But just how all of that happened. There's so many things that haven't really been finished in the show. Like the, the conflict between um, the suicide law. Like which states are going to enact it, which states aren't. You know, is it good? Is it truly good? Is it truly evil? you know stuff like that that wasn't really solved for real and the fact that Magase is still fucking living like why is she still here why is she not dead yet I really hope this season 2 I really but but it's just a nice way to end it if anything but it was, it was really good honestly Amazon has some of the fucking best anime bro they, they, they gonna hit us with Vinland Saga they gonna hit us with, with Doro freaking Babylon like get, get out of here out of here oh my god but uh, watch the show, watch it.